Morning, everybody. I'm out here with Rebecca and our buddy Boo. We are starting our hiking adventure. We're gonna hike this baby trail. We're gonna call it the Baby Bartram Trail because our goal is to hike the Big Bartram Trail later this fall. There's no map, but <laughs> okay. this is kind of where we're gonna be going. We're starting here. It's about 16 miles to our campsite, and then we're gonna camp there and come back tomorrow. <laughs> So we've got 15 and a half on the way there, 15 and a half on the way back for about 30 for the for two days. That's not too bad. We've got new new gear and we're trying to find out what works, what doesn't work. That way we can kind of tweak it because the big Bartram trail is like 140, 130 miles that we're gonna try to do over the course of like seven days. So this is a good little practice. We're gonna do this probably a couple times this summer as we dial in our gear choices. <laughs> and half a mile done. Yay! This is like a perfect practice trail, star trail. Super flat. There's just like nobody out here. Definitely the first ones of the day because I'm getting all the spider webs. But it's perfect to kind of figure out what we're doing. It's still a little cold, but the sun's coming up, so should get a little warmer by the next hour or two. It's supposed to be like 84 today. So we might have to go somewhere in the lake to cool off. There's you. I have one mile in, and how's everybody doing back there? Good. Good. Nothing, no pressure points or anything? No, that's uh -huh. very comfortable. That's good, that's good. I already kind of played with my bag a little bit, got the straps adjusted where they feel comfortable, and we're ready to keep on knocking out the miles then. So this is an optional like three mile loop if we go down this road. Since we don't know our pace yet, we're just not gonna do that. And we're gonna continue to the Wildwood Park, which is in 13 and a half miles. Onward. So we all weighed our backpacks before we started this. And I have a 20 pound bag and every, everybody else has more than 20 pounds. So that's, that's a lot, it's a heavy bag. But I really wanted to kind of test everything and make sure that, make sure the bag's good, make sure we're wearing the bags right and everything. So we're, we're hiking with a heavier bag on purpose. Our goal is to keep our bags under 20 on the Bartram Trail whenever we hike the big one. Mile three for the trail, hope we're on the right one. All right, we're about three and a half miles in so far. Took a little break right on the water. Super pretty. Got to eat a little snack or two and then hit back out there. All right, we're five miles in. Sun is definitely up, but it still feels pretty good out here. Everybody's feeling pretty good. Nobody's got blisters yet. Yep, we're good. So that's good. There was a bridge, and now it's over there. We're making pretty good time. It's about 10.15, and we've gone about seven and a half miles, so we're about halfway there. If we keep this pace, we'll get there like one. That's pretty pretty good. The place we're headed to is Wildwood Campground. So you're not allowed to camp anywhere you want on this trail. There's only two designated campsites. One of them's like six miles from where we parked. The other one's about 16, which is where we're going. That's just, it's kind of a good, a good test. It's a good little walk there and back. So we're gonna go camp in a primitive spot on the lake at that campground and then come back tomorrow morning. It's 11.16 and we've done 10 miles today. So we're taking a little lunch break, eating our little snacks. Right across the lake is where we're camping over there, but it's still five and a half miles away. So got a little bit of, little bit of walking left. Stop 
stopping mile 12, taking a little break. We filtered some lake water with some of them iodine tablets, and Rebecca is too scared to drink it. Boo's not too scared to drink it though. Tastes just like pool water. So we're 13 in, at two and a half left to the campsite, and we're all feeling it. Getting there though, it's only 1.30, so we're still doing really good time considering this is our first big hike. So we should get there at around 2.30 or 3, which should give us enough time to get a good campsite. 14. Pretty little creek crossing right here. We're above the lake line. Real nice. Fifteen. Like. He has got Rebecca drinking the treated water. What's the verdict? It's fine. It's just fine. We made it to the Wildwood Park. I'm not exactly sure where we are and where the camp. I think the campsites are that way. But there we go. We made it. We made it. Everybody is dead tired. Well, we finally made it. We're at the campsite. Right on the lake. We're just gonna hang out here for a little bit. Dry our feet off and then figure out how we're gonna reserve this spot. Oh, so we finally made it. We set up some Enos. We're gonna kind of just chill for a little bit until dinner time. Uh, everybody's feet are very sore. We walked a little too far, I think. Uh, considering that we're halfway done. We have to do the same thing again tomorrow. Uh, everybody's pretty sore. Probably should have started with a smaller hike. We ended up doing 17 and a half miles and my watch says 40,000 steps. So that's, that's a lot. All right, we took a little nap and now we're getting our dehydrated meal on. It's gonna be pretty good. We're gonna eat this and then we're gonna go fall asleep. By the by the lake. And we're watching the sunset. Perfect sunset view.